Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to check for spark on a small engine. So to start with, I have a few chainsaws here and a grass trimmer to show you how to check the spark on these. And if you're new to small engines, what I'm doing today is showing you how to check for spark at the spark plug of your outdoor equipment. And I'm going to start with this chainsaw today, but remember the same principle applies on all small engines. First of all, you have to locate where the spark plug is. On this one, it's under the cover. And here it is right here. I'm going to remove the spark plug boot first. And now you'll need a spark plug wrench to remove the spark plug. I always recommend checking for spark with the spark plug off for safety reasons. Oftentimes people leave the original spark plug in the hole. They just disconnect the boot, connect another plug and ground it. I prefer doing it this way because it's much easier to spin it over. And this way here there's absolutely no chance of it starting. So now what you need to do is plug back the spark plug. All you need to do now is ground the spark plug to the metal of the engine. Hold the spark plug boot here so you do not get a shock. You want to make absolutely sure that you're not grounding your hand between the engine and the spark plug like this or you are going to get zapped. And what I've done now is dim the light so that it's much easier to see the spark. If you can help it, try not to check for spark outside in the open sunlight because it can be a lot harder to see the spark. And sometimes you don't even need to hold the plug, it will just ground itself onto the engine like this. So I'm just going to pull the engine over now and look for spark. Make sure you have your switch in the on position first. And this is exactly the kind of spark that you want to see on the spark plug of your small engine. If it's really weak, your engine may not start. Now if your equipment won't start and you have good spark, you can eliminate the fact that it's not spark causing you the no start problem. Now at this point here I'm going to show you how to check the spark on this trimmer. It's the same procedure but the reason why I'm showing you is because sometimes it can be harder to ground the spark plug to the engine on these. Now the issue that people run into when checking the spark on this trimmer is they tell me it's hard for me to get the spark plug right onto the engine and see if there is actually spark. To make it easier I just use a tool like this or anything that is metal. I ground it to the engine and then I ground the spark plug to the metal object that is touching the engine and just pull the engine over. And I've dimmed the lights again so that you can see the spark better. And as you can see it's a method that makes it a lot easier to check for spark on these. And now I want to show you guys how to check for spark on a lawnmower. It's a bit different than a chainsaw or a weed whacker. When you do check for spark on a lawnmower, you do have to have the brake lever depressed like this. If not, you will not have any spark. If I don't have anybody with me to check for spark, which often happens, I just put a pair of vice grips over here. I'll remove the plug and then I'll turn the engine over. Just by pulling like this on the cord and holding the plug on the engine. And I can see spark on this one. And by the way guys, I only use this method if I cannot see the spark plug from my position over here. And this happens quite often on lawnmowers. I cannot see the spark plug to make sure there's good spark. And also guys, when you work on a lawn tractor, it's the same principle. Locate the spark plug. It's usually at the front here. If it's a V-twin engine, you will have two spark plugs. Just remove the plug, plug it into the cap like I did on the other engines I showed you, and spin the engine over. And by the way, here's a tool that you can use to check for spark. It's a spark tester. It has a light here that comes on when you pull your engine over to let you know if you have spark or not. If it lights up here when you pull it over, it means you have good spark on your engine. I have done a video review on this tool. The link is under the video so you can go watch it. However, I am going to show you quickly today how you can use this tool to check for spark. Now to use this tool, you just plug the red end here on your spark plug, the other end on the spark plug cap. Then you pull it over and you should see the light come on here if the spark is good on your equipment. And I'll pull it over and check for the light here. And as you saw there, it's got really good spark. Now it's very rare that I use this tool to check for spark on chainsaws or grass trimmers. I'll usually use this tool to check for spark on lawnmowers where it's harder for me to see the spark plug. Or on lawn tractors where it's even more difficult sometimes to be able to see the spark plug properly. So basically guys, it's pretty easy to check for spark on your outdoor power equipment. If by chance when you remove the plug to check for spark it's really wet, you may have flooded the engine. If you think you have flooded the engine, put the plug back in, hold the throttle wide open and just pull with it with the choke off and it should start up again. 
Now I also have a video that shows how to quickly unflood an engine and the link is under this video as well for you to watch that. If your equipment won't start, it's a good place to start by checking for spark. Thanks for watching guys, make sure to subscribe and you can see me in my next video. Have a great day.